Hello, hello, everybody. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm pretty good, thank you for asking. Are you ready for today's class? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. How was your day? Was it good? Thank you. Good evening. Good evening and welcome. How are you? Thank you. I'm so great. Oh, sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. How are you? Ay, no me muerto todavía. You're still alive. You're still alive. I mean, COVID is everywhere nowadays, right? It's pretty much um difficult. We have like a bunch of like, let's say, great cases nowadays with, with COVID. So, uh, it's pretty much heavy. Okay, uh, Aleli, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. And, and, I, and I hope that you're better now. Drink tea, right? If you have the chance. Yeah. That helps. Pero me, está, pero me está matando los dolores de cabeza oh. y la fiebre. Oh. Uh, just get get this amazing, um, let's say, medicine that is called acetaminophen, right? Yeah. That thing is impressive. Okay. Yeah, and tea, and tea de manzanilla. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good thing. With, with lemon and also you can have, I don't know, eucalyptus. Yeah, and my family, um, my sums are sick. Oh, all, all of you at home got, got sick with COVID? Todos, todos en mi familia estamos oh, enfermos, somos I'm cuatro. Sorry. I'm sorry to hear that, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thank How you. are you? Oh, I hope you, 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 your family get better soon. Okay, Aleli. Oh, Santiago is here. Hello, Santiago. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm great. Oh, that and you about good. about you? Well, yeah, I'm I'm still alive, so I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm like enjoying every single moment. So I'm I'm great. Thank you for asking. Okay, Elvis is here. Aníbal. Hello, Elvis. Hi, Welcome. teacher. How thank are you? you? Fine, thank you. Sounds pretty good. Okay. Uh, Bridget, I love your name, Bridget. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay. My grandfather. My grandfather me lo puso. Oh. Oh, so you were named? Uh, with your grandfather's names. That's pretty much amazing. Yeah, it's very good. I love it. I love it. Okay, it's, it's, it's not very common, right? Yeah, uh, your father, uh, you remember Brigitte Bardot. <laughs> I, will, I will change mine because it says Bolivia. I don't know who's Bolivia. Okay, so just give me a minute. I need to change mine. I'm sorry. Give me a minute. Um, I have it ready in, in a few seconds. Um, okay. Teacher. Hey, you Marvin, hear me? how are you? Tenía problemas con el micrófono. Sorry, teacher. Oh, yeah, you can turn it off. You can turn it off. You see? Trey Alvarez over there, right? Turn off your cameras. Turn off your mics, right? That's the way we learn this thing. I will say the attendance uh, really quick. When you hear your name, say present or I'm here. Okay. I just give me a minute. I need to get the attendance list. Oh, give me a minute. I have it here. Okay. Today we have Tuesday. Oh, I forgot on, right? Yeah, I forgot on. Aleli, welcome. Nice to see you again, Aleli. Oh, Dios. Fin de mes. Oh, I'm sorry. Ya lo demo. I'm sorry, okay. It's, it's hard, right? But that's true. It's hard, but that's true. Ana Cecilia Rodriguez. Thank you so much. Good evening. Ana Cecilia Romero. Good evening, teacher. Good evening and welcome. Thank you so much. Ana Janira Mendoza. Good evening, teacher. Good evening and welcome. Nice to have you. Bridget. Good evening, teacher. 
Good evening. Um, Good evening. Present. Carmen Guadalupe Escamilla. Hello, hello, Carmen. Carmen. Carmen, are you here? Oh, I think she has. Let me check if Carmen is here. Oh, oh my God. Carmen no está. No, right. Okay. I, I think... Okay. Give me a minute. Hay un mic. Hay un mic que está encendido por ahí. Let me, let me... <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's on again. Okay. Okay. Give me a minute. I'm sorry. Okay. Um Cesar Ramirez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much, Cesar. Edith Guzman. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Um Eduardo Najarro. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Thank you. Welcome. Nice to see you one more time. Um, Elvis, you're here, right? Thank Come you. Elvis. here. Um, Emerson, Mejia. Present. Welcome, Emerson. Stephanie, Aparicio. Hello, Stephanie. Good evening. Good evening, Stephanie. Fatima, Asensio. Present. Thank you so much, uh, Fatima. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Uh, Jaime Aldana. Hello, good evening. I'm here. Good evening and welcome. Um, Jose Eraibin. Jose Eraibin. Are you here, Jose? No? Okay, he's absent. Okay, what about Jose? I'm sorry. Karen Suleima. Karen Suleima. Thank you so much. Laura Arce. Laura Arce. Hello, hello, Laura. Are you here? Laura Arce? No? Is absent? Okie dokie. Let's continue with Mel yes, Mervin. Oh, I'm sorry. That's you, right, Laura? Yes, teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Marvin Marcel. Present teacher. Thank you and welcome, welcome, Marvin. Miguel Quintanilla. Hello, Miguel. Do you hear me, Miguel? No? Is absent? Okay. Eh, Morena Fuentes. Hello, Morena. Good evening, teacher. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Rodriguez, that's Oscar. Oscar Present Rodriguez. Teacher. Thank you so much, Oscar. Welcome. Um, Raquel Santos. Hello, Raquel. No, he's absent. She's absent. Okay. What about Antonio? That's Santiago Antonio Chavez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Welcome. And Vilma Gladys Cartagena. Vilma. Hello, Vilma. No. Okay. So she's absent. I will take the attendance one more time at the end of the class uh, for the ones that join us late. Uh, yesterday we were working with this thing that is called uh, phrasal verbs, right, or part verbs. Okay. We're working with with these things uh, with phrasal verbs, uh, which is something pretty much that we use a lot. But we'll show you a video. So then we can practice all together um, this thing, okay? So I want you to listen and watch. Okay, a minute, because I have the video here. Um, let me see, here we go, here we go. You know the video or the audio, let me know anytime, okay? Means to return something to its original place. Hello, we're now moving to the explanation of two part verbs or phrasal verbs. 
Get your pen and notebooks ready and follow us for better understanding. Two-part verbs. Will for responding to requests. With nouns. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. With pronouns. Turn it down. Requests and responses. Okay. Please turn down the music. Hello. No sé si todos tienen el inconveniente o solo es su compañero. Veo borroso, teacher. Excuse me. Se ve borroso el video. Ok. Se ve bien el. Give me a minute. Ok, I will share that thing one more time. Ok. Vamos a ver. We're now moving to the explanation of two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Get your pen and notebooks ready and follow us for better understanding. Two part verbs. Will for responding to requests. With nouns. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. No se ve bien, teacher. Pick up your things. No, teacher. Pick your things okay. up. With pro. A minute. I don't know why. Let's see. Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. Okay, let me check. Yeah. Oh, there is an inconvenience, I know. Give me a minute. I will send you the link in the chat, I'm sorry. Okay, ve el video. Dura like two minutes. Y luego regresamos. Okay. Lo que pasa es que... Um, I'm doing something with turn. That's the reason why. Give me a minute. Come on. Okay. Les voy a mandar el link en el chat de Zoom. Usted lo ve. Y luego regresamos, okay? So we can talk about it. Let me see what is that thing. Here we go. Chat. Okay. There you have it. Check the chat on Zoom. Watch the video. And then we get back into the class so we can uh, talk about this video. Uh, everybody at home, check the chat on Zoom. In the chat on Zoom, there is a link. You need to click that so you watch the video and then we will talk about it, okay? Es que por si sí ese video está borroso, sí, pero ahorita estaba observándolo y está, está borrosa la imagen de, de inicio. O sea, no es tanto. Sí, sí se ve eh, borro, más borroso todavía. La, la, I'm sorry. Parte. Okay. Sí, sí, lo puede mandar al WhatsApp. Oh, oh, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, like, open WhatsApp web. Just give me a minute. Teacher, pero en el link que acaba de enviar en el chat sí se ve bien. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Teacher, la 1.3 EBA. De la plataforma. Yes, that is correct. That is correct. Okay. okay. Bien en el link. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, just give me a minute. I will send you as well in the chat on, uh, on, on WhatsApp so you can have it as well. Just just bear with me. Give me give me some some time because like um I'm getting it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, el link se ve bien. Okay, okay. Oh, this is gonna be, I think it's intermediate number two, right? Oh, somebody sent it already. That's wonderful. 
Oh, that's very good. That's very kind of you. Thank you so much. You're so nice. That was very nice of you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Eh, si me permite, lo puedo, eh, lo puedo compartir, tal vez. Si me bien. Ok, ¿qué me amenaces? Ok. Ok. Ah, there you have it. Ok, do it, please. Um, please play play the video, please, so we can see it. Hello, we're now moving to the explanation of two part verbs or phrasal verbs. So you're going to know who's ready and who not for better understanding. No, uh, you need to share. You need to, you need to share the video. Share the video for everybody. There was somebody who was saying that. Um, Teacher, tanto en el chat como en el WhatsApp se ve bastante bien el video. Oh, oh, thank you so much, Laura, for letting me know. For letting me know. Okay. Um, give me a minute. Teacher, si me permite compartir la pantalla, tal vez. Oh, yes, do it. Do it, please, Emerson. Please, do it. See. So that's I don't I don't hear the audio. Maybe uh you, you forgot to to share audio. Emerson, because I, I don't hear the audio. Teacher, good evening. I think we are losing a precious time. Why don't we practice with the knowledge you have? Because if we keep spending time waiting for the video, I don't know. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. That is pretty good. Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you so much. Uh, Amazon, thank you. Se oía o no, no entendí. No, there was like, you, you, you didn't share uh, audio, okay? You didn't share audio. Okay, uh, con, but thank you. Continue, so me much, tengo, no sé. No, that's okay, Emerson. Thank you so much for sharing that. You're so okay. nice, okay? We will continue working with with the content that we have available in this um um in the website. Okay, just give me a minute. I will have it ready for you. Um uh, that thing? Here we go. Okay. Oh, this is this one is done already. Okay, I think yesterday we were practicing. Yesterday we were practicing, right? This thing about um, brain solvers. So we got some pictures like this ones, right? Have the book and different vocabulary. And then we have some um, expressions like brain solver. Okay, I think you did it at home, right? Did you finish with this ones at home? Did you finish this exercise at home? You have it ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Can you give me the answer in number one, please? What do we have in number one? The boat. Okay. Pick up. What is in number one? The book. Pick up. The toys. Pick up the toys, please. Pick up the toys. Okay. What about number two? The radio. Okay. Give, give me the complete phrase. Give me the complete phrase. Turn the radio off, please. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, Cesar, thank you. Number three. Number three, please. Um, they are. Okay, yeah. give, give, me, give me the complete phrase, please. Thank you. 
Okay. Yes. Clean up. Clean the yard. Clean the yard, please. Thank you so much. Very good. In the air, oh, please. Okay. What about number five? Number five. Um, Aleli? Uh, please turn down the toys or the book. Okay. Thank you so much. We will check this thing because I think I have it done already. What about number six? Volunteers, number six. Please take, take off, off your, your boots. Okay, Amazon, one more time. Uh, please take off your boots. Thank you so much. Uh, si necesito que levanten la mano, just, just to give it the chance to speak. Levanten la mano y luego I, I give you the chance. Okay, Karen, number seven, please. Thank you. Hi, your jacket, jacket up, please. Thank you so much, Karen. Thank you so much. Laura? Please take out the trash. Thank you so much. And Emerson, one more time. Number eight. Please take out the dog. Okay, okay. We will check those. We will check those. Thank you so much. Okay, give me a minute. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay, and the last one, um, Jose. Jose, what is the last one? I haven't done it yet, teacher. Oh, you haven't done it yet, okay. Do you need time for that? No, don't worry, I will do it tomorrow. Oh, okay, okay. So, um. We will check these themes. Oh. We have the first one, which is like, uh, pick up the books, please. Uh, number two, turn the TV off, please. Clean the jar up, please. Um, please put the books away. Number five, please turn down the radio. Uh, then we have, please take off your boots. Um, hang your jacket up, please. Please take out the trash. Please let the dog out and turn on the radio, please. Um, okay, so again, with this platform, it's really good as you can practice as many times as possible. Okay, um, so, uh, so it doesn't matter if you do a mistake, right? So you do it, you get a mistake, and then you try to fix that one more time so you can get it right. Let's continue with more information about two-part verbs, okay? Um, I'm gonna watch this video, and then we will have a chat about it. I hope that you can see it better. Let's listen and watch. The light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Hi again. Remember not only understanding grammar is important, but also pronunciation is as important. Please listen and practice the stress in two-part verbs. Pronunciation. Stress in two-part verbs. Part A. Listen and practice. Both words in a two-part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Now that you have listened to the stress, go ahead and practice saying the following two part verbs. Yeah, again, we're having the issue with that one. Give me a minute. And I have it ready for you one more time. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it is the. Where is 
Ta-da. Nope. Uh-huh. Wait a minute. I need to get word. So I can fix this one. Okay. because of that one. Okay. Give me a minute so I can show you, uh, we're talking about pronunciation of this one. That's what we did, the intonation of this um, phrase of it or, or two part verbs that we have. Just give me a minute. Okay, here we go. Okay. We were talking about in that video that you couldn't see. Teacher, si tiene mucho inconveniente con el video, ¿por qué no cada quien lo ve y avanzamos un poco más? Además, está hablando del estrés en, en, el, en las palabras, en la fuerza de voz que hay que ocupar mm -hmm. en las palabras. ¿Por qué no avanzamos en eso? Yeah, that's pretty, sounds pretty good. Okay. Again, you, have, sea, the, no you have the video on the platform as well. So uh, you can watch that thing um, anytime. That's very much very good. Okay. Um, let's move up to some, something else. Uh, we have an English model, model, um, model words that we use when we want to express polite requests. Okay. These ones are like the model of words that we have. We have could, we have can, we have would, okay? And we have, well, in this example, we have just three. Would, could, also in some um, like examples, in addition, we have made or polite requests. Here in the platform, you have a video as well which is this one, okay? Request with models, models, would you mind? That is another example. We have different ones, right? In your exercises, you have these examples, we could, with can, and with would. All of them are when we talk about something that is polite, right? Like we use like, want to make a request for something and you want to be polite with people, right? You can use uh, whatever you want, right it's up to you at the end right just be careful with some of them because some of them are somehow like more polite than other ones right for example in this one in this exercise we have match the request with the appropriate responses so we have a like request here and then we have a response according to the request emerson uh, can you help me read in the first one please this one Yes, teacher. Can you help me read in this one, this request, and then uh, look at for the answer? So you uh, can pick up the answer. Are you kidding? I don't have any cash. Okay, read, read the request first and then read the answer. Ah, okay. Could you leave me $20? Are you kidding? I don't have any cash. Thank you so much. Very good. Uh, Laura, can you help me with number two, please? Can you give me a sandwich? Uh -huh. Which which one is? Oh, what is the what is the teacher? Veamos. Um, Number five, Laurita. Um, 
I'm really sorry, but I'm busy now. Okay, then we will check, don't worry, okay? Karen, thank you, Karen, number three. Can you help me move to my new house? Uh, sure, no problem. I'd be glad to. Glad to, glad to. Glad to. Very good. And then we have number four, which is this one, okay? Let me have, um... oh, thank you, Fatima. Thank you, Fatima. Number four, what you mean? Not thinking here. Sorry, I didn't listen. This seat was taken. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, somebody else. Let me see. Some random people in here. Okay, let me check. Okay, what about you, Elvis? Thank you, Elvis. Number five. Number please. five. Yeah. Could you move your car from my space? I'm sorry, I'll do it right away. Thank you so much. Jaime, Roberto, thank you, Jaime. Number six. Me too. Would you mind not talking so loud, so loudly? Um, so yeah. We we sorry. We'll talk more we quietly. Quietly, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Quietly, that's a great okay. pronunciation. Very good. Let's check. Okay. Let's check these themes. You see, that was pretty much amazing. Very good. Everybody did it very good. Uh, let me see if Sun is ready. Yeah, I think it's ready. Okay. Let's take a look at the next example in here. Uh, neighbors versus neighbor. Okay. Okay. Let me see if I can if I can show you more. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Let me open it. Make it bigger, so you can see it better. Okay. Here we go. No sé si lo ven, lo ven bien en casa. If you don't see it better, let me know. If you don't see, oh, come on. I can yes. see it. Yes, you should. Yes. Okay. Okay, here we go. We have neighbor versus neighbor. Um, I will request participation for you so you can read it. Okay, I will say your name. And then when I um, select another one, you will stop and then your classmate will continue with the reading. Okay, that's the way we do it. Uh, let me see. Jose, thank you, Jose Enriquez. Begin with the reading, Jose, please. Thank you. Okay, ne neighbor versus neighbor. Uh, I have to read, to read the instructions, teacher. Oh, please. Do I have you. to? Please. Okay, read the situation in the in the list below. What would you do in each situation? The woman in the apartment upstairs plays the piano after midnight. The family across the street never cleans up their yard. The garbage blows into your yard. The guy never doors away. The guy next door always park, parks his car in front of your driveway. Thank you so much. Have, oh, okay. Jose, great job. Miguel, Angel, continue, please. Miguel, Angel, continue. Hello, Miguel. No, okay, Karen Suleima, continue, please. Have, have team. Yes, yes, continue. How team like this ever happen to you? If so, you may ask, you may ask yourself, 
who are these people? Why are they doing things to me? These days, many people don't know their neighbors. Sometimes we share a friendly with, with or say hello. But a lot of people don't even know their neighbors. When you don't know someone, it's easy to will, will up frustration and recently you think maybe they like to annoy and, and, and me or maybe they do it casi no le va a ir Okay. So it's del, del, um, I think it's delivery. 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 De delivery. I don't see it as well. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you so much, Karen. Laura, continue, please. Believe it or not, your neighbors probably don't mean to ir ir irritate you. Often yeah. they don't even know that they are getting on your nerves. So before you take extreme measures to fix the problem, you should discuss it with them first. First, continue. Yes, please. When you approach your neighbors, you should take talk to them in a friendly, in a friendly manner. Compliment their children or do something else to make them feel good. Then explain the situation and if you can think of a simple solution, suggest it. Thank you so much. Santiago Chavez, continue. Okay. If something doesn't work, ask another person to help. This person can listen to both sides of the story and help you in your neighborhood neighbor resolve the situation. Finally, sometimes it's a good idea to avoid the problem. Depending on the issue, it might be best to just stay out of your neighbor neighbor's way. Thank you so much. Okay, very good. You're welcome. A few mistakes in pronunciation, people. Like, for example, nerves, like, um... let me see. Yeah, pretty much not 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 too many. Okay, like uh, frustration, uh, resentment, annoy me, um, irritate. Very good. What do you think about this this reading? Um, let me see, Oscar. What do you think about this reading? Oscar, what do you think about this reading? Okay, let's work with Cesar. Cesar, what do you think? What is your opinion about this reading? I understand. I mean, what is your opinion? Like, we have these different like situations, right? Or as in areas. What do you think about those things? Okay, Carmen Guadalupe. What do you think about this reading? Carmen Guadalupe. What's your opinion about this reading? Um, Emerson, back to you. What, what do you think about this reading? What is your opinion about this one? It's talking about the feels, the feels, como sus sentimientos. Okay, the question is, have things like this ever happened to you? Like these kind of situations that we have here, did this situation happen to you? Oh, Alili, thank you so much. Oh, uh, the people um, is um, irritate um, uh, the, the, for the, the not sound, 
um, 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 the parking, uh, everything, everything problems in other neighbors. Okay, thank you so much. Very good. Let me see. Okay, Janira. Janira. I feel teacher. Thank you so much, Janira. Um, do you get along with your neighbors, Janira? Uh, I think that um, uh, there are many kinds of, of neighbors and all, all of them have a different uh, kind to be. And uh, sometimes we, we don't know who is the next neighbor. And <clears throat> uh, they could be um, problematic, maybe. Um, for example, uh, leave the, the trash near to my house or um, uh, parking the, the car front of my house, maybe. In this case, um, uh, all of them, the, the neighbor, <clears throat> cause disturb to the others, I think. Are you a good neighbor? Is, excuse me, teacher? Are, are you a good neighbor? <laughs> um, I think, see, sí, I think so. Um, but um, I I have a, a little or little neighbor. Okay, you don't have too many neighbors. No. Okay. No. Thank you so much, Janita, for sharing that. Um, Santiago. Thank you, Santiago. Go ahead. Okay, teacher. Este. Sometimes we don't know our neighbor. Why? Sometimes. Sometime. Why is that? We, do, we don't know our neighbor. <laughs> For example, I I am not re good re good neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me why. Tell me why. Uh, a lot of noise. <laughs> do you have like big parties? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Yes. On the weekend. <laughs> All day. Weekend. Every weekend. <laughs> Every weekend, teacher. I'm sorry to hear that. That's my really. I'm sorry, <laughs> Santi. <laughs> well, that's the way we are, right? As somebody was saying, like, we as, as humans, we are different, right? So it's like. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Just just be careful, you know. Just be careful with your neighbors, you know what I mean? Not what it is. It's somehow hard, you know what I mean? Um, sometimes people call the police, right? And you get in trouble by just by doing simple, okay? In your um, platform, okay, you have some vocabulary practice, right? We have resentment. We have deliberately, we have irritate, we have measure, and we have manner. I think we have resolve as well. And we have the different definitions about these things, right? Okay. Um, no sé si ya lo terminaron en casa, este ejercicio. Yes, no? Yes. Okay, no. perfect. No? Oh, no. Okay, um, let's do it together. Let's do it together really quick, okay? Um, Morena, you ready with number one? Eh, no lo he completado aún. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm uh -huh. sorry. Okay. Okay. If, if you're ready, raise your hand so you can participate, people at home. Okay. Um, Alili, thank you. Number one. Resentment and your the trials over time. You told me. 
Oh, what is that thing? Can you repeat that? No, no number two. it's two, two, two. Anger the trows that trow over anger, time. Anger that grows over time. Oh, oh, maybe. Es que right. estoy hablando con la nariz, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> Then we have deliberately, deliberately, deliberately. Um, which one is the option? Uh, Amazon, thank you. Is on purpose. On purpose, on purpose. I love this word on purpose. It's quite fantastic. Okay, somebody else at home? Number three, irritate. Thank you, Ka Karen. Bother or annoy. Okay. Bother or annoy. Bother or annoy. Bother or annoy. Very good. Thank you. Then we have measure. Who's ready with this one? Measure. Measure. Who's ready with this one? Thank you. Santiago. Uh, the answer a step taken in order to achieve something. Oh, yeah. Looks pretty good, right? It's like every time you take a decision, you do, you go with this one, right? You measure the scenario and then you pick. Okay, thank you. Um Laura, thank you, Laura. We're number five. Manner. What is Laura? Hello, Laura. Are you here? Laura was here. Teacher, yes, teacher. Oh, sorry. Microphone. Number five. Manner. Um. Manner. Manner. Mm -hmm. Yes, manner. Okay. And um, a step taken in order to achieve something. Okay. Thank you so much. Very good. And the last one is for you, Jaime. Yeah, Jaime. Resolve. 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 And a problem or diff or difficult difficulty. 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 Okay. Let's check. Right. Um using this one, we have manner. We have I this one is the correct one. A way of behaving, a way of behaving goes with behavior. And this one, the rest, everything is perfect. We will very good. Okay. Um, just try to be a good neighbor, right? I know it's hard, but just try to do it. Okay. Just try to do it. Um, give me a minute because this thing is not it. Okay. Okay, I know the next topic is about infinitives and gerunds. Okay, um, do you know something about infinitive and gerunds? What is infinitive? Uh, what is infinitive? Does anybody know what is infinitive? This one, infinitives. What is the meaning of infinitive? Was it the base form of a verb? Infinitive. Oh, can you give me an example, Jose? Please, thank you. To real, to sleep to walk oh exactly very good and what about a uh, jerums jose what about jerums something about jerums jerums uh let me see i guess is the uh the verb the conjugation of the verb when we want to say that the action haven't finished yet Okay, okay. Somehow it's, it's, it's good. It's not perfect. Uh, the first one is correct, uh, Jose, but with uh, um, Jerome's is somehow a different, okay? Um, in Jerome's, we use them like, I love Jerome's because that thing is, is quite simple and help us a lot. When we get a stop in English, when we want to like speak sometimes regularly, and we want to like formulate simple sentence, sometimes Jerome help us to overcome this one, okay? I hope that you can see the video now. Let's take a look. Listen and watch. Hi, welcome. 
Join us in this news section. We're about to explain that we can describe how something is used by either an infinitive or a gerund. Notice the meaning is the same. Pay attention and stay with us. Infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes. Infinitives. I use my computer to send emails. Computers are often used to pay bills. Gerunds. I use my computer for sending emails. Computers are often used for paying bills. As said in our intro video, we will study infinitives and gerunds to express use and purposes. Keep in mind the meaning doesn't change. What changes is the structure. So let's go over the explanation on the difference between the two forms. With an infinitive, we must use to plus verb. Example, I use my cell phone to call my friends. To call my friends is the purpose. With a gerund, we must use for plus verb plus ing. Example, I use my cell phone for calling my friends. For calling my friends is the purpose. Notice on both examples, the purpose or use is the same. It is also important for you to notice when using infinitives, we must use the particle to before the verb. And when we use gerunds, we use the word for. You can't say, I use my computer to sending emails. Uh, so the gerunds pretty much, is, and, and the infinitives are these ones, if you notice, right? It's quite simple. Here in this, in this like module, we are getting like the meaning of this one with purpose. So both of them right now, at this moment, we're using it with purpose. So when you talk about something like the purpose, you can use two of them. You can use gerunds or you can use infinitive form, okay? And this side, in another context, that could be something different, okay? So at this moment, just go with the meaning of purpose. Both of them means quite the same, okay? Those means quite the same. Um, however, the structure is, is quite different, right? In the infinities, we use two, right? And the other one in the um, in the gerunds, we use four. Okay, so here we have two, and then the the verb goes in infinitive. That's why we call it infinitive because we have it to send, to play, to pay, to listen, to I don't know, cook. Everything that goes with to, and then we have the verb goes with infinitive, but with gerunds. With gerunds, it's quite different. If you see here, we use for, for, why? And also we use ing. So everything comes in like ing form, like for sending, for paying, or like cooking, or listening, or I don't know, dying. So this is the way we use it. Both of them, again, right now, we're talking about purposes, and we use these two, you can use infinitives and you can use gerunds. Any question about this thing? Any questions about this thing? Sometimes, sometimes you can use it at the beginning of the sentence, okay? Sometimes you can use it at the beginning of the sentence, right? But typically, this is the structure that we have. No questions at all? Okay, let's get into the practice. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, hagan este ejercicio. Voy a tomar la asistencia y luego para finalizar la clase uh, we check this exercise together. Okay? Yes? Perfect. Let me take the attendance. Um, here we go one more time. Please say present or I'm here. Aleli. Present teacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate your effort. Ana Cecilia Rodriguez. Present teacher. Ana Cecilia Romero. Present teacher. Ana Janira Mendoza. I'm here, teacher. Bridget Lisset Erazo. Present teacher. Thank you. Carmen Guadalupe Escamilla. Present teacher. Thank you, Carmen. Um, Cesar Alexander Ramirez. Present teacher. Edith Araceli Guzmán. Thank you, teacher. 
Thank you. Eduardo Alexander Najarro. Present, present teacher. Thank you. Elvis Rauda. I'm here. Thank you. Emerson Mejia. Present. Stephanie Yamilet. Here, teacher. Thank you. Fatima Esmeralda. Present teacher. Jaime Roberto Andana. Jaime Roberto. I'm sorry, I'm here, teacher. Oh, thank you so much. Um, Jose. Jose Enrique. Here, teacher. Thank you so much. Um, Karen. Karen. Su I'm sorry, the senior. Okay. Um, Laura Arce. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Marvin Marcel. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Miguel Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Um, Morena Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Oscar Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Um, Raquel Arely. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Santiago Antonio Chavez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. And also, Raquel, you're here, right, Raquel? Sorry. Hello. Thank you. I'm sorry. I, I missed. I missed that. Uh, Bilma. Hello, Bilma. Are you here? No. Okay. Let's get back to the exercise again with working with germs and infinitive about purposes. Okay. Everything is like for a reason, right? Purposes. Um. Here we have number one. Volunteers, raise your hand, please. Raise your hand so you can participate. Raise your hand if you so you can participate. Okay. Uh, let's begin with you, Elvis. Number one. Satellites are used to study the world's weather. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, Bridget, number two. Uh, robots are sometimes used for performing dangerous tasks. Tasks, very good. Tasks, very good. Um, ah, Lely, thank you. Number three. You can use say a cell phone to send text message. Send text messages. Messages, very good. Thank you, Cesar. Number four. Yes. People use the inventory for making travel reservations. Reservations. Thank you so much. Uh, Karen, number five. Uh, DNA fingerprinting is used to identify criminal. Okay. DNA fingerprinting. Fingerprinting. Very good. Thank you so much. Exactly. Very good. Is used. Uh, and then we have Laura. Encyclopedia. Oh, Laura, number six, please. Okay, teacher. CD rooms are used for studying an encyclopedia. 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 Very good. Okay. Four, you told me, right? Four is storing an encyclopedia. Okay, let's check. Storing an encyclopedia. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Let's check this thing. Oh my gosh. You wonderful people. Look at this one. Right. Um, that was very good. That was very good. Okay. Um, thank you so much for participating on this one. Um, tomorrow we will continue working on this one. Uh, I apologize because at the beginning of the class we couldn't watch the videos. I guess it's because I have a class before this one, and like soon, uh, it starts like getting the um, the video from the previous class. I think that's the issue that that, ha that we had today. But for, I think for tomorrow, I maybe I will have ready um, the material so uh, we won't have these issues, okay? Uh, remember that you can like practice at home in advance in this platform, your material. So you can have, let's say, you can have all the exercise done already. So here in the class, you can double check and you can participate uh, as much as possible. Okay, um, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your effort. 
be nice and be kind. Good night, and we will see you tomorrow. Take care. Everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Good night.